This small corner of Belgravia has a global reputation as one of the most stylish destinations for art, interior, antiques, food and fashion. Its fame is built around the personalities, the highly respected names which have established themselves here over the last 30 years. People were first drawn to this area because it was still very much a village street, very close to uh, King's Road, Sloane Street and the West End of course and still had a charming village feel to it, set round a lovely little green in the middle. There's always been a family atmosphere on the street. Somehow, this street just nurtures that. Um, everyone remains friends, everyone helps each other in business. There's a great community here. There's something for everyone here and everything is different, so everyone can help each other. The wealth of brands that flock to the area continue to grow, attracting new names and nurturing fresh talent. I would not have opened a shop in London if I couldn't have opened on this street because I think for things that are uh, interesting and different, this is the place to be and I wouldn't have wanted to be anywhere else. What makes Pimlico Road so unique is the opportunity to meet the names and talent behind the brands for the very best of expert advice. Well, there's an awful lot more in the Pimlico Road than meets the eye behind all the beautiful shop fronts here. There's lots of people beavering away from the design sector in offices, studios, Paolo Machino's here, Jane Churchill, Rose Uniac, Vivi Grenock. The list is endless. Top, top designers right here, right on site behind the beautiful shops. It is the personalities that make this small collection of streets feel like a village. And the attraction extends beyond art, antiques and interiors into fashion and especially food, with the Michelin star de Roussillon, the cosy Poulot Pot, and Carafini, to name but a few of the fabulous restaurants in the area.